We're learning to play at the end of the day. Now this piece, I'm going to play through the whole of the right hand melody for you, but we're then going to just concentrate on the first line. So uh, here, here it is. In fact, let me just play you the whole piece first of all. things to notice we've got MP at the beginning moderately quiet and then we've got what we call hairpins it's a crescendo if I just show you it's lines getting wider as it goes along so that means gradually getting louder until we get to MF now MF is moderately loud not very loud just moderately then after that you'll see we've got hairpins getting getting narrower as we go down and quieter, gradually getting quieter. And then you can see on the second line, the hairpins open up, they close down. Now, just before the last bar, you've got double lines, double dots. That means to repeat the whole thing. And then the second time you come through, you go on and play the very last bar where it gets quieter and PP, pianissimo, very quiet. So it's quite a subtle piece and there's no sudden changes. Everything's gradual. Let's just look for this first video at the first line in the right hand. So the right hand plays this. It starts on E and we flow down to C and flow back all the way to G like that. Now this phrase comes a lot. So here we are again. So I'll start on the E. So notice I'm not playing separate notes. I'm playing nice smooth notes. And gradually getting louder. Then I do an F, an F and an E. Okay, so that's the first line. I'll do it again. Now, under this, in the left hand, I'm, we're going to get stuck straight in now and start putting the left hand in. The left hand starts with your thumb on middle C like this. And it goes down to A and back to C. Now, because the other hand carries on up, you'll find yourself wanting to sort of carry on up, but you're just going to walk down and back. So I'm going to try and do those two things together. So I've got my middle finger on E there and my thumb on C here. Notice that your thumbs are sharing the same note, but it starts with your left hand thumb. So we walk like that, we walk down. Now when we get to here, this thumb is going to play the C and your middle finger there, the A. Then we're going to come back and then this thumb, I'm wiggling it, comes back onto the C. And then the right hand carries on up. So that's the most important bit to get right first of all. Okay, so let's try that again. So they start together, they walk down, the thumb swap over, we walk back, the thumb swap over, and the right hand carries on up. Now, I'm going to leave the left hand notes out for a moment. Let's just carry on with the tune. Two Fs and an E. Then, if you look at your second line, can you see it starts the same? So let's bring the left hand back in again. And then this time the right hand plays a D, an E, and a C. So can you see what I'm doing? I'm just bringing the left hand in, just in that first little bit. Every time that little phrase comes where it does that, I'm using the left hand, but leaving the left hand out of everything else for now. So, this is what I'd like you to do, first of all, before you worry about the rest of the piece. Try and play the whole piece, mainly with the right hand, but just bringing the left hand under this little bit here whenever it comes, okay? So, this is how it works, going from the beginning. So, we've got an E there, a C. So, they start together, they walk down, and they walk back, and the right hand carries on. Then it's F, F, E, so that's the second bar on the right hand. Right, now we're on the second line, so the hands play together. The right hand carries on up. Now, this is the second bar, second line, then the right hand goes D, E, C, and then we have repeat marks. We go right back to the beginning, so then we play again. I'll bring the left hand in. 
carry on with the right hand. F, F, E. Then the hands are together. Then just the right hand. D, E, C. And then we've done the repeat, so you go on to the last bar. D, E, E. I'm going to do all that again to show you again. So here we go. So watch this video lots, just see if you can get that going first of all. The important thing is to get this thing going, get, get that going. Watch, you've got the thumb swapping over in the right place. And then just adding on the next bit in the right hand, then hands together and so on. So lots of work on that. And when you're really happy with that, then it's time to move on to the next video where I'll fill in the missing left hand notes.